Mississippi, are you buying THC products from gas stations in Rankin County? You may be getting a little bit more of the real thing than you bargained for. Here's a story from WLBT right here in Rankin County, Steep Hill, Mississippi, which is the first licensed medical marijuana testing lab in the state, went to gas stations throughout Rankin County to buy over-the-counter THC products. The study showed an abundance of harmful and possibly deadly toxins. One of the products was tested found for eight pesticides, but that was just one of 13 products Steep Hill tested, with all of them containing THC levels 30 to 40 times over the legal limit. Damn, no wonder that Delta 8 knocks and people knocking people on the ass. 30 to 40 times over the legal limit? Doesn't that make these folks drug dealers? Asking for a friend. State officials have even received calls about kids going to school intoxicated on these products. Back in my day, kids actually went to school high on the real thing. While there has never been a THC fatality, Steep Hill co-founder Cliff Osborne believes the risk is higher with these products. As far as fatalities from THC, there are no known deaths by overdose in the history of THC overdoses. Osborne said, as far as the pesticides, I think I mentioned that the tremors, seizures, and those type of conditions can happen. We simply don't know from the products that we tested if that would occur if someone ingested those or not. We do think the risk is high though. State Rep Lee Yancey and other officials have been made aware of the situations in the past and says that it, it says that it is illegal activity. Quote, I know one place in Rankin County sold someone something that said, quote, if you want something really good, go to my CBD store on such and such road, Yancey said. Quote, they are knowingly selling these products. I think law enforcement will be very glad to hear that these findings are out there and we will be talking with them about how to go about enforcing this. However, due to a loophole that I wasn't aware of, due to a loophole in the 2018 Farm Bill, and confusion surrounding the Mississippi Medical Cannabis Act, it is unclear what law enforcement can do right now. Quote, uh, or in, in ending here in this story, it says, if you know where these products could be though, the Rankin County Sheriff's Department asks that you contact them. Hey, look, man, I, I, you know, whatever. Uh, honestly, I'm a big supporter of Kratom, have been for a while, have fought to keep it legal here in the state of Mississippi for the last three years or so. However, people need to know what they're buying. We need to regulate this stuff somewhat. I need to be able to look on the back, whether it's these THC products, these CBD products, or Kratom, and know what we ingest in. We need the legit, real numbers on this stuff. So I'm for any kind of enforcement we can get on this, just for safety reasons.